Here we start off with some givens about the probability of A, probability of B, and the probability of A or B. We want to uh, use these probabilities and draw an Euler diagram. Now, of course, an Euler diagram is useful to us when we want to go beyond just the initial information that we're given about the probability and answer some uh, a little more complex uh, questions. So here we're given that the probability of A is equal to 2.2, the probability of event B is 0.3, and the probability of A, event A, or event B is 0.4. Now remember that uh, symbol there between A and B is the union and it's read or. So it's the probability of A happening or B happening or both. So A or B is equal to 0.4. Now what we want to do is we want to draw an Euler diagram using the above probabilities. So here we go. First of all, what we keep in mind is this relationship. The probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. A intersect B. Now remember, the reason for that, the reason we have to subtract off the A intersect B is because when we take the probability of A and add it to the probability of B, we actually add the intersection twice. So we have to counteract that by subtracting off the probability of A intersect B. Now we were given that the probability of A union B is 0.4. The probability of A is 0.2, and the probability of event B is 0.3. Now that leaves us, once we put those uh, numbers in, what we now have is an equation to solve. We simply need to solve for the probability of A intersect B. Once we do that, we'll have our intersection, we'll be on the way to drawing our Euler diagram. Solving that is just a basic equation. We get that the probability of A intersect B is 0.1. Now we're ready to draw our Euler diagram. We start off by putting in the intersection, which is 0.1. Now we've got to calculate what, uh, what goes in A that's outside the intersection. Now we already have, we know that the total probability of A is 0.2. Well, part of it is already accounted for by the intersection. So if we take 0.2 minus 0.1, we get 0.1, and that's what goes in A that's outside of the intersection. Now you'll note that inside the circle A is 0.2. Now we do the same thing for B. We have a total probability in B of 0.3. 0.1 of it is accounted for in the intersection. So if we do that arithmetic, we find that 0.2 goes in B. Now, of course, that doesn't account for everything because not everything is in A or B. There, there's uh, some probability outside. Remember, the total probability has to be 1. Well, these numbers are, uh, this, these don't account for all the probability. So we have to look and see, well, what's outside of these circles? We can do that by saying 1 minus A union B because that is obviously what is going to be what's outside. So that's 1 minus 0.4 which gives us 0.6 and that gives us what is on the outside. Now that completes our Euler diagram.